Hello and welcome to my second tutorial on creating weapons for Jedi Academy and Blender. I have by now decided what weapon I want to model. It's this sword. Uh, it's pretty nice because it has two mirror axes. The left and the right side are uh, identical and the top and the bottom as well. So there is not much work to do to get it into Blender. It's also a pretty simple model for the uh, in the beginning it might be a good idea not to have a very complicated model. So the first thing I'm going to do is edit this image, rotate it a bit so it's horizontal. I'm going to use GIMP for that. I'm not going to teach you how to use GIMP in this tutorial, but it's a nice uh, image editing tool and well I will comment on what I'm doing so you might um, profit from this as, as well. So I'm opening this URL and I rotate it. I'm going to get myself a line here um so now I rotate it like this and make the image big enough so it fits in. Now I'll cut it to the right size using the tool for that, whatever it's called in English. I'm sorry my is currently in German. And now I'm going to add another layer in white behind it. Um, so this is the background image I'm going to use in Blender. I'm going to save that. I'm um, going to create a new folder for my models. That's always a good idea. I'm going to call this one sword. And this will be the background. So now I have my image for the background in my new models folder. Here it is. And I'm going to use that in Blender now. I'm going to start Blender. And press the little plus on the right side to get the uh, settings here. You can also press N to show and hide them. and activate background images, add an image, open and look in for my image. Um, I'm just going to favorite bookmark this folder using add. Now it's here, models I can get here quickly in the future. Background. Now I have to say um, which views it should be visible. This is from the top. So you can change between the different views with the number keys on the numpad. One is front, three is right, and seven is top. And then top view, we can see the uh, image in the background. You can scroll with the mouse wheel and rotate by clicking the mouse wheel and moving the mouse around. You move the window by holding the shift button and clicking the middle mouse button, the mouse wheel. And that's really all you need to know about navigation. So remember 1, 3 and 5 for the different views. Front, side, top and mouse wheel to rotate the camera. Now I'm going to save it. It's a good idea to save early and save often. 
Blender does not crash very often, but it's a good idea to have some older versions to come back to later. So I'm going to save it as sort one. <laughs>